In the secret world, sometimes it's valuable to just stop and appreciate the little things. Hello, welcome to Answers. This is a short form lore series where I provide the answer to the questions that we are bound to face in our journey through the secret world. Today, however, is a special presentation, The Unasked. The answers to questions that you might not have even asked yourself, or that just really couldn't make up a whole episode. The focus is on the second half of the Kingsmith Zone. First up, you probably did actually ask yourself about all these cars that are just piled up on the bridges. Now, its role in-game is to act as an efficient bit of signposting. It prevents us from going this way with a psychological barrier rather than a physical one. We can cross it easily, but our first instinct is to find another way. However, in the lore of the game, this is almost certainly because of people who were affected by the fog while they were driving, trying to get to the most efficient point at which they can access the ocean. They piled up on the bridge and jumped out into the strait. Other cars slammed into them, and those people jumped out too. We can assume this is the case because the only bridge without cars on it is the covered bridge that people couldn't jump off of. Speaking of this bridge, you ever go here while in anima form? Dying is an integral part of this game, and exploring while dead too. There's a lot of places where you can only find things by visiting it when you're dead. Such as... Yikes! Also, this is a pretty good clue for Madame Roger's investigation mission. When you look around, you can find places where people tried to make a stand after the zombie attack, such as right here, where people set up a card table. Or, I mentioned it in another video, but I really think the warehouse is interesting. Note the sniper's position, and these sleeping bags. But we all know the boy king of survivalists is Danny Dufresne. You know, it's a good thing that the game doesn't let us fall for his traps, because... I bet you didn't notice this one. How many times did you walk over this C4 wire without noticing? There's a lot of garbage in the Kingsmith beaches, but... What the heck is this thing? I think it's a drone wrapped in seaweed, but... I'm not sure. Anyway, it looks pretty cool. The mission The Slaying of Dixie Bull shares its name with a ballad about a 17th century pirate. Dixie Bull was the first pirate in the Golden Age of Piracy to attack a defended town. The historical Dixie Bull eventually just sails off the pages of history. However, in the ballad he is killed in a duel with the fisherman from Pimacquid... Pimacquid... Pimac... Bristol. Bristol, Maine. The ballad is somewhat hard to find, so I will provide a link in the description to its text. However, I think it's absolutely dreadful, so, um, yeah, your mileage may vary. Did you figure out who sabotaged the airport lights? It wasn't the golem. I mean, it certainly benefited, but it wasn't the golem. Look at this drog standing right in front of the electrical box. I think he might have done it. Drog are smarter than we give him credit for. Going back a little bit, you're probably too distracted during this cutscene to notice that someone else is getting lucky. Have you ever looked really close at a zombie hulk that wasn't trying to kill you? Or wasn't static like the one in the museum? They are constantly bleeding from all these wounds where their skin just ruptured. Yeah. We know fresh zombies are more agile and fast than the, you know, other kinds of zombies, but... The ones with the weapons seem to be especially dexterous. Nice little spinning jump attack there. I wish I could do that. What is this magazine in the morning light camp? It seems to have a unique texture, at least one I've never seen before anywhere else in the game. But it's really hard to make out. Wonder what happens if we look at it with 4K and maximum graphics settings. When we do that, we find it somehow looks even worse. Huh. Moving along. On Priest Island, where we accidentally caused the giant filth creature to appear, notice around that area these four runestones. I wonder if they were meant to keep it contained. Hmm. 
And finally, I mentioned this briefly in my last video, and I also opened and closed with it, but did anyone else notice these zombies kicking a corpse? I mean, we see them kicking walls, we see them eating corpses, but this is the only time I've ever seen them kicking a corpse. Even funnier, they make the sound like they're kicking a wall. I, this is probably a glitch they just decided to throw in because <laughs> it is really funny. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, subscribe, and even ring that little bell. And consider contributing to us on Patreon. We appreciate every little bit. If you did not like this video, I'm not angry, just disappointed.